Good evening. We appreciate you tuning in to our Wednesday night prayer meeting service. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, again, Lord, for another privilege and honor. It is, Lord, to bow before you and call upon your name. And, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for every blessing of life, Lord, that you have blessed us with. We just pray that you would just uh, be with all the, the sick. And, Lord, there's many tonight that need your touch, God, and I pray that you would just touch them. Be with those that are bereaved tonight. I pray, God, that you would just comfort them and give them the comfort and grace they need as well. We thank you, uh, Lord, for all that you do. We just pray that you'll be with the service tonight. Everything that's said and done, bring glory and honor to your name. And we ask these things in your name, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. We're going to sing, Won't It Be Wonderful There? When with the Savior we enter the glory land, won't it be wonderful there? Into the troubles and cares of the story land, won't it be wonderful to bear. It's going to be a good day, isn't it? That's going to be a day that'll never end. Amen. Won't it be wonderful there? Amen. Appreciate Tiffany playing for us tonight. All right. Turn with us tonight in the book of Genesis, chapter number 18. Genesis, chapter number 18. And we'll start there in uh, verse number verse number ten. Genesis eighteen, verse number ten. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life, and lo Sarah thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent door, which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age, and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am old and waxen old, it shall I have pleasure, my Lord, being old also. And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of a surety bear a child? which am old, is anything too hard for the Lord? At that time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Then Sarah denied, saying, I laugh not. 
Uh, for she said, uh, for she was afraid, and she said, Nay, but thou didst lie, laugh. And then the men rose up from thence and looked toward Sodom, and Abraham went with them to bring them on the way. I'll stop there. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the reading of your word. And I just pray, Lord, tonight, God, that you'll just get us out of the way and you'd use us for your glory and our honor. We just pray that tonight, Lord, that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Uh, we uh, begin to think of this uh, scripture. We uh, had a little Bible study there at the house last night. We were talking about this uh, uh, scripture, and, and uh, it's, it's been on my mind all day today. I was thinking of uh, this scripture, and in uh, verse 14, uh, when, the, when the angels came uh, uh, there and, and to uh, the three men there and to Abraham and, and uh, appeared unto him and, and told him that uh, uh, they was going to have a, have a child and name his name Isaac. And uh, if you read there in, in, in chapter number 17, when God uh, was speaking to Abraham there, and God told Abraham that he was going to uh, bear, bear a son there, and that's uh, that his wife would have a son there. In, in uh, verse 15 of chapter number 17, it says, And God said unto Abraham, As for Sarah thy wife, thou shalt not her call her name Sarah, but Sarah shall her name be. And I will bless her and give thee a son of her. And yea, I will bless her, and she shall be a mother of nations, and kings of, of people shall be of her. And, and, the, and you, you think about when... When Sarah heard the tidings that she was going to have a child, she laughed. Uh, but also, we need to remember that even Abraham, when God told him that Sarah was going to have a, a child, uh, he laughed. In verse number 17, then Abraham fell upon his face and laughed and said in his heart, Shall a child be born to him that is a hundred years old? And and uh, shall Sarah, that is 90 years old, bear? So he, he laughed within himself. Now you think about uh, when someone's kind of laughs at a statement, that means they don't believe it. And, uh, but you know, even after Sarah laughed, the, the three men there, they, they said, is anything too hard for the Lord? That's what's on her mind tonight. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Amen. We may think of, uh, of situations that we might be in uh, and, and things that's going on in our life that, that is impossible that we don't see the, uh, the light at the end of the tunnel. We don't see any good coming out of our situation. Uh, but let me ask you, in every situation that you're facing tonight, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Now I'm talking about the God of heaven that spoke this thing into existence. Amen. Uh, the creation of the world, how that, uh, how that the Lord, uh, how when he said there, let there be light, there was light. Amen. How that he made Six days he made this world, and how that he made man in the likeness of his own image there out of the dust of the earth. Now you think about them all just in Genesis chapter number one, how that when he made uh, this earth and how that he made everything, and how beautiful, how that he made everything. Uh, friend, just right there's enough proof that there's nothing too hard for God, are they? There's nothing too hard for the Lord. But you think about how that uh, a lot of times when we feel like that, 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 that things are impossible, we try to make things possible within ourselves, but we come up short, don't we? You think about uh, Sarah there. Uh, she... Uh, uh, she spoken to Abraham there and, and, and told him uh, there that uh, in, in chapter uh, in the chapters previous to this uh, that uh, she give uh, her uh, handmaiden there uh, Hagar uh, the, to to uh, be with Abraham there that, that to bear her a son. She tried to take some matters in her own hands, but God, it was God's will that uh, that that Abraham's heir. Isaac. 
And so I, God has spoken to Abraham even after I, that, uh, I, that, that, that Abraham had went into Hagar and they had a son there and his name was Ishmael. I bet you think about it wasn't God's will that Ishmael be at uh, Abraham's heir. Uh, that, uh, it was God's will that, that they have a son, him and Sarah have a son, and that Isaac would be his heir. And so uh, you think about uh, how that God's plan and God's ways, you're not going to stop God's plan, and you're not going to stop God's ways. I mean, there's nothing that's too hard for God. And I believe God proves to us time and time again, even a lot of times we get ahead of God. Maybe we pray about things, and we don't see God answer on our time frame. So we just go ahead and act on it. And we go ahead and just, uh, uh, we, we go ahead ahead and, and do what we think is what's best. But when we look back on it, we think about when we get ahead of God. Our friend, we, we get in trouble, don't we? Amen. But there's nothing that's too hard for God. And let me say about God's time. Amen. God's ways are not our ways. Neither his thoughts our thoughts. But his ways and his thoughts are higher than ours and the heavens are the earth. Amen. Let me say tonight that God knows what's best. And, and listen, and we don't have to understand what God is doing. The Lord never said, understand me. He just said, trust me, believe me, amen? And when we believe the Lord and trust him, let me ask you tonight, don't you believe God's word? Don't you trust God's word, amen? And listen, he's trustworthy tonight, amen? If he's trustworthy to save your soul, he's trustworthy to keep you tonight, amen? And meet each and every need. And listen, God don't need my help. And God don't need your help tonight. Amen. But we sure do need God's help tonight, don't we? Amen. And so when we look at that, we think about all the impossible things, not just here uh, in, in Genesis chapter number 18. I mean, you think about how that how the God uh, blessed Abraham, who was 100 years old, and, and Sarah was 90 years old with a child uh, to the time of life, uh, no doubt. impossible, but it's not impossible if it's God's will. Do you think about that tonight? If it's God's will, there's nothing that's impossible. The things that's impossible to man are possible with God, the Bible says. Amen? So listen, even the impossibilities of things that maybe be going on in your life, Amen. If it's God's will for things to happen, amen, it's possible if it's God's will. God's will, it'll be possible. Amen. And listen, you, you, you think about things you've prayed for and things I've prayed for throughout our life that hasn't, hasn't been answered the way that we wanted them to. Maybe it didn't go the way we wanted it to, but if we prayed about it and asked God's will be done in it, I guarantee you it'll be done the way God wants it done. Amen? Amen? But God's will is the best for our lives. Amen? Some of the, hey, you know, some of the best, uh, uh, you know, things that's happened in our life is things um, that things that's happened the, the, differently than we wanted them to. Maybe they've been a job that you prayed for, and you 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 really really wanted that job, and but but it wasn't God's will for you to have that job, Amen. And it didn't work out that you got that job. Amen. Uh, but, but you think about it. God knows what we can handle and God knows what we can't hand, handle. Amen. And so when we've asked God's will be done in our life, just like, uh, you know, when Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane, he prayed, Father, he said, if it be thy will, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Amen. God wants to hear what's from our heart. Amen. He wants to hear our heart's desire. He wants to, uh, for us to make our prayers and supplications be, be made known to him. Amen. Uh, but listen, when we pray, nevertheless, that means in spite of what I want, Lord, I want what what you want, amen, and so when we pray God's will be done, amen, we, uh, that God's will is for the best, amen, and, and so we, we, we think about down through the, the, the word of God, I think that, that, that uh, you know, that, that God has worked out that's been impossible in the eyes of man, but God made it possible, 
Amen. No matter what your need is tonight, let me say God's will. And, and you know, and, and if it's God's will I, for, for something to work out the way that he would want it to, amen, there's nothing stopping God's will. There's nothing that's stopping God's plan. Amen. You think about even when, when, when Jesus was born. Oh, Herod tried to kill him, didn't he? Herod tried to get him out of the way. I but listen, you can't stop God. Nobody can stop God. Amen. He's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning, the end, the first, and the last tonight. And so we can't stop God's will and can't stop God's plan. Amen. But listen, when we are in the hands of God, you're one of God's children. Amen. You're in the you're in His hands tonight. I'm, we we used to sing that little song uh, when we. Uh, uh, when we were little, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got me and you, brother, in his hands. He's got me and you, sister, in his hands. I'm glad he's got me in his hands tonight, amen? And so when we're in his hands, there's nothing that's impossible. But where we go wrong is when we try to do our own thing, when we try to go our own way, and when we try to act upon things Maybe that we've not got the green light of God yet. Maybe it's God's will for us to wait. I've said this before. I believe as God's children, we deal better with the answer of no than the answer of wait. But the Bible says to wait upon the Lord and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. I believe waiting helps us. Waiting a lot of times uh, will will uh, will encourage us. Amen. Uh, you know, uh, waiting will discipline us. Amen. And and you know, uh, I've thought about it throughout our life, and you know, we uh, you know we we as we grow and mature, you know, waiting will mature you as a Christian. Amen. When, when, when we wait uh, upon the Lord and time goes on, maybe it's a, it's a time frame that we have to wait upon. But during that time frame, we are maturing in the faith. And it is very important that God's people be mature. Amen. And that we maturely grow in the Lord. Amen. And through that maturity, we understand some things. Amen. You, you know, we, we think about, uh, it says, when I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. And I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Uh, it's because of maturity, right? Maturity will cause you to think differently, talk differently, amen, understand differently. And so as we grow in the Lord and become spiritually mature, amen, we, we, we begin, begin to to understand that the, the, the things of God and the ways of God, we might understand everything God's doing, but we, we will understand that what God is doing is for the best. We might understand it, and God never did under, say understand me. He said, believe me and trust me. But when we trust him, we trust and believe that God's will is for the best. Amen? And so through our life and through the things we face in life. You know, no doubt Sarah spent a many of a, a night crying herself to sleep, maybe wanting to be like the other women that is blessed with children. But there come a time, no doubt, that Sarah give up on having a child of her own. And that's why she took matters into her own hands and, 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 and had Hagar... Uh, uh, to lie with her husband and, 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 and have a son by Abraham that way. But then she was, uh, Hagar was despised in her eyes, you know, after that. And that, that caused friction there. That caused, that caused a, a, a contention there. And that's because she got ahead of God there. And so, uh, you know, we, we think about all these things how that we, we go through life and we, and, and we try to handle things on our own. But friend, we can't handle things on our own. We can't even handle the smallest things on our own. I preached there in the book of Matthew just several weeks ago. And it says, uh, which of you taking thought could add to his uh, stature uh, one cubit? It says, if then you can't do that which is least. 
Why take you thought for the rest? Amen? And so uh, we can't even live and we can't even breathe without the Lord, much less make any other decisions on our own. But there's nothing that's in, impossible with the Lord. You might be going through some things tonight. It might be, uh, hey, it might be uh, your marriage, amen? It might be a wayward uh, child that you're dealing with. It might be uh, 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 trouble at work. It might be financial trouble. It might be physical trouble. It might be, uh, it might be bereavement, amen? Loss of a loved one. Whatever the situation is, you may think, there's no way that I can handle this anymore. There's no way I can take it anymore. But listen, there's nothing that's too hard for God. There's nothing that's too hard for God. So when we totally 100% cast our care upon him for he cares for us. He said, come unto me all ye that labor and heavy laden, I will give you rest. We need rest tonight. Amen. God's rest is better than any eight hour of sleep. Amen. You can sleep all night and still not get the rest you need. Amen. I'm talking about that spiritual rest tonight. We need that rest in the Lord, and we need that peace with God. Amen. There's nothing that's too hard for God. Amen. It might be dealing with uh, uh, temptations. It might be dealing with addictions. Amen. There's nothing that's too hard for God. No matter what the situation is in your life. Amen. You, you, you may be waiting. You may think, well, the preacher hadn't named it yet. Let me say, that if the Holy Spirit, amen, has already named it, amen, need I say anymore, the Holy Spirit will, will, will speak to us and show us what we need to do. Amen. And you know what that is? That is God. That is God speaking to your heart, wanting you uh, to totally, 100%, turn it over to him. Amen. And when you turn it over to him, you can rest on the, on the matter. Amen. And Abraham did have a son, and they called his name Isaac. Amen. And Isaac was Ab Abraham's heir. And so when we think about how God's will was fulfilled, amen, you know, even though that to man's eyes and man's ways of thinking, and uh, even doctors no doubt would think, Oh, that, uh, that, uh, that, that couldn't happen. He, even if they did have a child, he, he would be born with something wrong with it and all this would happen, that would happen. But no, if it's God's will for that to happen, amen, and it was God's will for a 100-year-old man and a 90-year-old woman to have a child, amen, amen, it happened, didn't it? Amen. And, and, and he was, and I don't read in the, in the Word of God where, where there was anything wrong with Isaac. Amen. Uh, he was perfectly healthy, wasn't he? And so we think about, now of all the things that, that we go through in our life, there's nothing that's impossible. There's nothing too hard for God. The Bible says there is no searching of his understanding. They are searching of our understanding. There's a lot of things that we don't understand. And, uh, and, and there's a lot of things of our wisdom. Our wisdom will fail us. But God's wisdom will never fail. Amen. And so uh, we, we think about uh, Isaiah 40. In verse number 28. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard that the everlasting God... I, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. That's the message tonight. There's nothing that's too hard for God. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we love you. We thank you, God, for your word tonight. And I pray, Lord, God, the... The, the, the maybe a, a doubt and fear that's trying to overwhelm people tonight, I pray, God, that you would just strengthen them. God, just meet their needs. 
And God, give them peace that passes all understanding. We love you and we thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. We appreciate you tuning in tonight. Lord willing, we'll be back uh, Sunday morning, 11 a.m. Amen. Let me, let me just uh, make an announcement before we uh, dismiss tonight. Many has asked about when we, we're going to start back at, at, in services again and uh, what we're waiting on. We're waiting on uh, that when we can come back together in, in full capacity, um, it's, it's almost impossible uh, for us, for all of us, to come back together while they are, are you know, uh, uh, social distancing and, and spreading out. So uh, we want to wait where we all can come back together. And as soon as that, that can happen, we're waiting on the recommendations of the governor and trying to, trying to listen to everything that's been given. And, uh, and when we uh, get that clearance, we will definitely start back. And so uh, uh, do, uh, do keep one another in prayer. We've still got, we've got a lot of sickness in our church. Um, and uh, let's remember those that's lost loved ones. Scott and Duane Bradford lost their, uh, their, their sister uh, down in Florida uh, this week. Be, they'll be burying her up on Spivey, uh, up above Mountain Dale Church there, on past Mountain Dale Church there, Friday at 2 p.m. So uh, remember that family in prayer and others that are sick in the hospitals tonight and, and uh, uh, we've, we've got a uh, still got a lot of sickness uh, uh, it's, it's uh, thankfully we don't have anybody sick of the coronavirus so we're thankful of that it's other sicknesses but uh, please pray one for another amen and uh, good night God bless you